<clears throat> the year is 1842. France, the plague, has just begun. I don't know what to do. Everybody around me is dying. I can't save them. You call for a doctor and what? <laughs> they show up wearing masks because we're diseased, because we're sick, we're infectious. We're gonna kill them. That's what they think. And that, <laughs> that is if the doctor even comes. I hear the bells late at night calling for the dead. Bring out your dead, they say. <laughs> you mean my parents. You mean bring out my parents. It's ruined us. It's ruined everyone. Or at least it doesn't care who's rich or poor. So it'll kill the poor just as soon as it kill the rich. It's funny, isn't it? You work and slave your whole life. And they think they're better than us. Nobody is better than death. Death doesn't care if you're rich. Death doesn't care if you're poor. Death is the only thing in this world, in this godforsaken world, that equalizes all of us. I'm going to die. You know it. There's going to be bubbles and boils on my skin, waiting and bursting to pop. The pain is going to be excruciating. I won't be alone. I'll be with everybody else. The rich, the poor. There is no healthy anymore. <laughs> Good. I'm glad it's come. Come to scorn this earth. Get rid of all the aristocrats. They're so great. But they're lying dead in the cart just like everybody else. And for that, I'm glad. Glad the plague is here. I'm glad death has come. It's come for us all.